CPQ use cases. 1. Explain why X industry is a good fit for CPQ. Answer. Ask the interviewee why your industry is a good fit for CPQ. This will test their understanding of what you do and how they see CPQ providing value to your organization. Example. Manufacturing Manufacturing is a good fit for CPQ because manufacturers often sell complex products that can be configured in a number of ways. This can make it hard for non-technical salespeople to create proposals and sell the products, as well as make it difficult for the team building the product if they do not know exactly what the customer ordered. Salesforce CPQ empowers non-technical salespeople to sell complex products by having guardrails in place to prevent incompatible configurations. Example. High-tech Salesforce is the best example of a high-tech company using CPQ. Salesforce sell a number of licenses which can be sold either in packages or standalone, and as their product catalog grows through internal product growth and mergers, Having a tool like Salesforce CPQ makes it easy to sell a highly complex catalog of products. Example, professional services Professional services companies, such as Accenture, Deloitte, and PwC, offer resources, people, to staff projects. Resources usually have a fixed cost based on their location, and every project will require specific resources to achieve the end goal. Having a CPQ tool in place can make it easy to configure a quote for resources based on the client's needs. 2. What is the difference between product rules and option constraints? Answer. Option constraints are a simplistic version of product rules allowing users to exclude or require an option based on the selection of another option. E.g. a user selects option A so they must also select option B. Product rules are far more sophisticated and have four types of rules. Validation, alert, selection, and filter. The selection type will provide the same functionality as option constraints but with more features. 3. Give a use case for lookup data? Answer. Lookup data can be used with both product and price rules and is used in place of error conditions to drive actions in the system. Lookup data is effectively a static matrix table located in an object that is used as a reference. For example, let's say you want to apply an automatic discount based on information on the account record. Let's say you have a partner discounting program in place. Partners are given a general rating based on their size and resource skill set, but number of delivered projects are also tracked and influence their discount. The more projects they deliver, the bigger the discount. You can even configure the discount field on the object to automatically update as more projects are delivered, for example. 4. Give a use case for using price rules to populate non-pricing fields on the quote line object? Answer. One possible use case is to use a price rule to populate the value derived from a summary variable into a field to hold it permanently. Summary variable values are derived dynamically and are not stored by default anywhere in Salesforce. If you need to store the value, create a price action to populate the value from the variable in a field on the quote object. 5. How can you simplify the look and feel of a customer's product catalog using CPQ? Answer. The product catalog can be grouped using either product family or another custom field to sort and group products together. This setting can be found in the global package settings. Thanks for watching Salesforce Start.